Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com, and this is my weekly analysis on gold, gold futures. It's Monday, the 23rd of April. So, as usual, I'm starting off on the weekly. As we can see, last week here, we tested the weekly, the center line of the weekly channel here. This week, we have closed and gone below it, uh, which could see the start of a move down to test the lower end of the channel. But let's have a look on lower time frames to see what we're doing here. So with the daily, we can see we are contracting uh, on the daily time frame here. The center line of the weekly channel is holding us some support. We can see today, um, Monday, we have pushed down below there. But we have got a, a, a lower trend line here with this contraction that's happening at the moment in price action. And we can see the really awful looking um, stochastic here with these higher um, crossovers with percentage K percentage D we, we could see this the gold testing this center line and this lower trend channel then moving up so we will be looking for some intraday longs maybe this week to push up back to test this 1370 level maybe but for the meantime right now we would say we want to look for shorts coming into this support level so on the 60 minute we can see from these highs from uh, from last week, uh, we're on a wave three now, and we're looking to test this support at 1325, which could be the catalyst then to pull back into our automated target zone here. Uh, sorry, probability zones here around 1340. So uh, again, when you're trading gold futures or any sort of futures, really working down from the weekly, the daily, seeing where seeing where we are in um, with the trends on those longer time frames, then on the 60 minute, we can see there's potential for some more downward movement and to test this really strong support level intraday that we've had tested quite a few times recently. Uh, and that would be then uh, an opportunity to go long into our probability zones. But the highest probability move, if this does find support and then move back up into here, the short down from here on the 60 minute this week would be the highest probability move that we are looking for today. But this uh, today, sorry, this week. But we have to ensure that the stochastic pulls back against these um false breakout dots here back into the overbought zone first coinciding with uh, a wave four into our probability zones and the 535 between 90 and 140 percent so this is the trade i'm looking for this week really um on intraday just letting it uh, find support initial support first hopefully around about 1325 in this zone then a pull back into the probability zone and then that's the short I'm looking for intraday. Obviously, trading on the five minute, there will be lots of other different opportunities during that move. Uh, if we just have a quick look at the five minute right now, see where we are. We can see uh, we are on a wave three at the moment, but it's very, very early days yet to see where that will go. Um, but we are again we're looking at 1325 as a potential target um, for that in, for that support on intraday and then a pull back into these probability zones so again everything's setting up we just need to be a little bit patient and look for those potential shorts um, on the shorter term um, this week so that's it for this week have a great trading week and I'll speak to you all on the 20 sorry on the 30th of April